not knowing how to handle objections is costing you thousands of dollars. If you're in sales, you know that objections are a natural part of the process. Whether it's concerned about price, timing, or sustainability, objections can quickly detrail a sale and leave you feeling frustrated and discouraged. But what if I told you that objections are not a roadblock, but an opportunity to showcase your expertise and win the sale? In this video, we will explore the most effective strategies to overcome objections and of course close more deals you learn how to turn no into a yes by understanding your prospects perspective addressing their concerns and presenting your value proposition in compelling way but that's not all we will cover the psychology behind objections and how to use it for your advantage whether you're starting out or your experience in sales this method will help you master the art of objection handling and boost your sales performance so if you're ready to take your sales game to the next level just grab pen and paper and let's dive and uncover the ultimate objection handling method welcome to my channel my name is Berk and I help coaches attract pre-sold clients without using paid ads now you may be wondering how will handling objections be 10xing my sales you should know that on average your prospect will say no four times before they say yes which means that the average closing rate is 20 percent in the coaching industry think about how often you're giving up when hearing the first objection imagine if you had the right strategies to keep going to get past the number four and get this sale which means increasing your closing percentage you might be thinking like i don't like to press people because i don't like to be pushy if this is in your train of thought you will never make enough money in your business let's be honest if you're selling a positive change it is your moral obligation to apply pressure and get the sale people need to be pressured into taking action otherwise we as humans we're too lazy to do it on ourselves. sometimes the best sales are made when both parties are uncomfortable and also now you might be wondering but what are objections like i don't get them <laughs> an objection is anything that prevents the sale from moving forward something as small as i'm not interested currently or i will get back to you when i want to book an appointment objections are a request for more information it is your prospect saying i need more information in order to feel comfortable to make a decision change the way you see objection and change your mindset you want to view objections as an opportunity to give more information to your prospect rather than something that will just lose this sale objections are everywhere for for example when asking for an appointment or when talking about your services and people aren't interested right away again objections are everywhere and we must learn how to handle them and the truth about objection handling is if it is worth their time money and energy they will take action no matter what when something is important enough for us we will not make an excuse to get that thing again prospects lie 95 percent of the time when they say it's too expensive i don't have time or i can't afford it what they're really saying is that if they spend the money right now they aren't convinced that it will be worth it and they will have a return of the investment in the future that's what every objection means in its simplest form and now we're going to uncover the five step process to overcoming any objections step one of this process is to agree agreeing is an essential part of overcoming any objections when your prospect gives you an objection they're prepared for an argument they want you to argue with them they're ready for you to start disagreeing with them and this hastens their defensive wall i want to tell you something right now if your prospect defensive walls are raised when discussing objections you will never be able to overcome them that is a fact 
agreeing with an objection this put the traditional thought pattern for your prospect and this also reduce the defensive woes like they don't expect you to agree they expect you to disagree and to argue this engage them and opens them up to listening what you have to say when you agree that's when we move to step two which is to isolate if you don't isolate your prospect objections you'll be wasting tons of time overcoming objections and concerns that your prospect has nothing to do with your business that is why it is essential to isolate your prospect's objection to determine what is really holding them back to start with you can you recall a time when your prospect gave you an objection that you overcome only to her different objection i think it happens a lot and also it happens for me a lot at the beginning like i quote unquote handle one objection under one appear another one appear and i then just give up and i lose the sale this is frustrating and extremely common in sales the truth is that prospects often are too polite and also unsure themselves as what their real objections are sometimes prospects believe one objection to be true when in reality the real objection is entirely different that's why you need to come to step three which is elaborate you can't overcome an objection if you don't understand it and in order to understand an objection you need additional information the it's too expensive objection can have a hundred different meanings for 100 different people and the only way to understand the reason behind the objection is to get clear elaboration on it from your prospect's point of view for someone ten thousand dollars can be too expensive but for someone else like one hundred thousand dollars can be too expensive that's why you want to get clear on your prospect point of view and elaborate what is the real thing if you don't get an elaboration on your prospect objection you will never be able to overcome them encouraging your prospects to elaborate on every objection they give you because this will provide you to additional information that you will need in in order to actually overcome those objections again you find a hidden gems when your prospect elaborates their objections and when they elaborate their objection you want to make them visualize people are persuaded by visual scenarios remember this you need to make your prospect envision what is it like to work with you and achieve the results they desperately want of course this would be the result they told you in the sales call when you were painting a picture of their future like what is their dream if you aren't able to paint a scenario of what they can expect to see as a result of working with you then you will not be able to sell them effectively and when you complete these four steps you want to go to the last step here which is step five re-ask if you don't ask the answer is always no if you think your prospect will ask you for the sale think again it is up to you to constantly ask your prospects for the sale when the timing makes sense again remember this when the timing makes sense that is when you want to ask your prospect aka when you complete these four steps your prospect will rarely ask you for the sale and if you rely on them asking you then you'll be missing out again tons of sales asking for the sale Sale is scary at first but that is the only way for a sale success by following this five step method i guarantee that you will increase your closing percentage and have less objections when you master the art of objection handling you again your closing rate will skyrocket and of course you increase the revenue of your business and that's why i'm doing these videos i'm doing this video trainings to help you get better with your business and soon partner up with us when you need help with scaling your business and if you want to get this document go to the description and click the second link and you'll get the whole document for yourself